Look at my man. The love of my life. There was nothing more I prided myself on than being his wife. Hashtag relationship goes. But like he said, what's done in the dark always comes to light. For there is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed and nothing concealed that will not be brought into the open. So you're going to save some souls today? Well, don't I save souls every Sunday? Of course, babe. I just... Never mind. Well, you're not wearing that lipstick, are you? Nothing, babe. I just want to say I love you. Oh, I love you too. I'm gonna go finish getting ready, okay? Okay. Church, say amen. 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 Welcome. Welcome to our guest and welcome our family members. Will the church please open your books to Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 5? And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of any kind that is heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For the Lord thy God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Let the church say amen. 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 Don't be too thirsty. Um, you should show yourself that. Huh? 
try. All right, that was some sermon you did today. Well, thank you. Not that I'm surprised. I knew you would do something moving on the church's anniversary. I mean, to hear what all you've been through, look at you now, leading the largest church in the DMV area. Praise God. Well, God <laughs> is good, isn't he? Mm -hmm. All the time, actually. <laughs> Pastor, about you and the First Ladies retreat that's yeah. coming up, it looks so fabulous. I can't wait to attend. Well, thank you. I'm quite sure you all are going to have a great time. Yes, we are. And to be honest, I'd love to go over this a bit. You see? Well, I'm sure that God will make a way. As a matter of fact, just call my office next week and I will make sure that my wife will, will have you all, will have you all signed up, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if you ladies wouldn't mind, excuse me, I have more people that I need to speak to. Talk to you later, boss. Deacon Anderson, you. how you doing, brother? Did I So this woman comes up to me and mm -hmm. says, Tara tells her we're going to help her pay for her trip. But And next thing I know, 15 other women have the same story. And so, what did you do? So I told Jerry to quit pick fights. <laughs> you cannot be serious. Yeah. Very serious. Andrea, huh? She sure is really helpful around the church these days, I see. Oh girl, she is a lifesaver, okay? Cause Lord knows Mother Harriet cannot keep up. <laughs> she doesn't know email, invoice, manage our schedules, nothing. So Andrea is cool with me. I cannot believe you paying for everybody's flight. Yeah, but it's all good. You know, once Daryl and I land these two new properties, mm. the flights will practically pay for themselves. I get it. And besides, I just, you know, want the women to feel empowered mm -hmm. so we can stop this cycle of codependency you know one thing i cannot stand is, is a, a codependent, codependent woman, woman. <laughs> hello amen <laughs> talk about it <laughs> but still <laughs> but no seriously honey what you want what you mean i mean everybody can't be like you sis okay well they don't have to be like me mm. but they have to stop expecting me and my husband to carry them listen it's time for them to level up Hallelujah. Well, while you at it, can you go ahead and pay for your girl's ticket too? Uh, you know, I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> you are crazy. I cannot. You know That's what? All right. <laughs> That's why you love me, though. Huh? I do. Mm. Crazy. <laughs> Come on. I might buy us cheers to that. All right. Yeah. Let's cheers. Right. <laughs> hey, Ladybug. Uh, hi, Natalie. I was about to say, better speak. How you doing? Okay. What's the table for? Girl, this is her all day, every day. Mm -hmm. She acting like, what, she got a little boyfriend now? <laughs> she better not have a boyfriend. <laughs> no one in my house will be living in sin. May I be excused? <sighs> yes, yes, you may. Well, I don't know what we're going to do with her. <laughs> That's your girl. That's your house. <laughs> Too grown. I don't know who she get it from. Her daddy. Why you look at me? <laughs> what you not speaking today? We're not about to do this, all right? Anyway, babe. Yeah. Me and Natalie are gonna hang out for the rest of the night, all right? All right. See you a little later. So you just, that's, that's your way of just dismissing me. Mm-hmm. It's girl's night. She got something to do. Mm. <laughs> Hey, Bye, babe. Yeah. I am so proud of you. You absolutely nailed it. Thank you. Oh, hey, baby. Hi. Hey, Jess. Mm -mm. How was the pageant? Good. We had interviewed the major of the run group. It was amazing. I killed it. Yes, yes she did. Son. In true <laughs> Spencer fashion. Okay. <laughs> Finger snaps. Touche, baby. What hey. Hey. Did you find your auntie or uncle yet? No. 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 Maybe I gotta try. Now, maybe if you were more, more concerned about honoring God, 
he would send you a husband. Whatever. We've missed you in church these past few weeks. Yeah, girl. You would know what it's like to displease God now, wouldn't you? Uh, was okay, Natalie. You know exactly what it means. Natalie, Yo, what are you talking Natalie. About? baby. Dang, am I missing something? It seems like every time Natalie is over here, her and Daryl have an issue. I don't know, but it's just something in my spirit. Baby, hey Natalie, stop y'all. Daryl, please, Jess, have a long day. Can you take her upstairs to take a bath? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Bye, Jess. Have a long day. Love you, baby. Love you, too. <laughs> Girl, I don't know how. What was all that about? I know Natalie ain't messing with my husband. <laughs> nah. You know, sometime an idle mind is the devil's workshop. And I ain't even about to entertain that. Thank you. No, that's okay. I, um, I'm good. I'm good. I'll text you right now. Hey, yeah. No, I'll be there shortly. She, she's drunk. She'll be asleep soon. No, just wait up. I'll be there. Baby. <laughs> Baby. So it looks like you and Natalie had a good time. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. I only had one bottle of wine. <laughs> and we was catching up. Mm hmm. <laughs> guess what? The night is not open. No. Ouch! Damn, Daryl. You don't have no problem with wanting and dining our investors. Yeah. And what kind of example are you setting for Monica and Jasmine? Having your friends just get drunk in front of them like that. No. You're better than that, Stacy. Mm. I've got time for this. I'm not oh babe, it's late. Just no, no, no. here. Well, that makes two of us. I got some work to do anyway. Where are you going? Don't wait up. Daryl, where are you going? Well, good morning. Good morning, dear. Hmm. I must have been extremely tired because I didn't even hear you come in last night. Well, that's because I didn't. I slept in the guest room. I didn't want to disturb you. Hmm. I see. So I was thinking, perhaps it's time that you put Monaco on the pill. Okay, and what brought this about? You disapprove? Babe, she's young. And I don't even think Monica has a boyfriend. Besides, you know those things have all kinds of side effects. Weren't you her age when you got pregnant? <sighs> I was. But Monica's different. I was different. She's not like that. And plus she has you to show her what a real man is, babe. Right. And one of my responsibilities as your husband is to make sure that this family, that we keep this family from making any mistakes that may reflect badly on us. Remember, we have an image to uphold. Yeah, I know. And what type of example would we be making if your daughter were to have a teenage pregnancy? Okay, babe, well look, listen. Look. No, look. I'll have Andrea check your schedule and make an appointment for her. Okay, but can we please at least talk about this later? 
There's nothing else to talk about, Stacy. Now I have to get to the office. I have a lot to do today. Okay, babe, but we need to talk. There's nothing else to talk about. Daryl, it's date night. We'll have to do it another night, babe. We're gonna do this happy hour real quick. Cause we need to talk. <laughs> we do. I need lunch. I need something and a drink. Well, yeah. Uh, it's about time. Yeah, you are right. But I was gonna take Daryl lunch since he missed our dinner date again. <laughs> again, Stacy. Didn't he miss date night last month too? Yeah, but he's just going through a lot. I mean, I don't know. I'm glad at the place that we in right now, but something is off. Mm -hmm. I just can't put my finger on the girl, but he got something going on. It's like he's detached or something. I don't know. And so what do you want to do about it? Like, you think he's detached in terms of him? In terms of what? Okay, so let me, can I just be honest? Aren't you always? Okay. <laughs> well, fast, fast. I'm like, okay. But you're not going to any of this other space. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, usually when a man is attached, that usually means he's attached to someone else. Nah. <laughs> girl, not my girl. You know, that's my baby. I mean, Listen, he I is too it. busy at work mm -hmm. to be attached to anything else. Uh, okay. And I always know where he is all day, every day. We keep in contact. Okay. I mean, besides, I trust him. And you always know what he's doing. Okay, so. Yes, I And do. when you can't reach him, then what? Then I call Andrea, and she usually calls me back within a couple of minutes, so. Yeah. Little Miss Andrea, Miss Helpful of the Church. Natalie, what is your issue with her? It's not that I got an issue, but what if he is what if busy with Andrea, and you think he's busy at the church? I'm just, Natalie, I'm, I mean. You know what? I'm even offended that you would say something like that. I don't Stacey. understand what your problem is with her. Andrea is very helpful. Mm -hmm. She is a woman of God, and mm -hmm. she's a single mother like I was. Okay, but y'all different, Stacey. Okay, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know why everybody always blames the pretty little receptionist. My man don't want her. Do you see what he come home to every night? Yes, I do know what my okay. friend is bringing, but My I'm man don't saying. want her, and Andrea doesn't want my man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she is very pretty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She is pretty. And they do spend a lot of time together. Yes, they do. A lot of time. And she does have access to all of our homes and offices. How about she knows a whole hell of a lot about your business? Hmm. <laughs> you see, there's that thing about denial. First, it allows you to believe that everyone is just as loyal to you as you are to them. Because you would never cheat. You assume they wouldn't cheat either. Hon, uh, can you find me that number? I thought I had it. What number might that be, honey? Stacy. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, when you said you could make it for dinner, I decided to bring you lunch. Let me see, I told you I had a lot of work. I brought your favorite macaroni, greens, cornbread. If you're lucky, you might have me for dessert. Mm. You like it? <laughs> yeah, you love it. Come here, baby. I just wanted to see if there was anything you need for me. No, Andrea, we're good. We have everything we need. Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. Actually, Andrea, 
Stacy was kind enough to bring us dinner. Oh, no, babe. I brought you and I dinner, not Andrea. Well, Stacy, you know, I love your cooking. And your food is always welcome here. So I'll make sure none of it goes to waste. Yeah, I'll see you at the house. You gotta be kidding me. Stacy, this behavior is unbecoming of a first lady. Now I said, I will see you at home. Love you too. Bye bye. <laughs> so how about I warm this up and then I come warm you up. All right. Okay. Sounds like dinner and dessert. The same damn time. So D, are you gonna be able to make it to the meeting tomorrow? We need to make sure we're on the same page. What are you smiling about? What's she doing in here? She, I guess even first ladies like to slum me from time to time. Wait, you know her? Yeah, I know her. And you would too if you took it behind the church every once in a while. Seriously? She's, she's married to the pastor of that mega church. So you think going to church on Easter makes you some kind of saint? <laughs> Look, man, I know I ain't no saint, but I do know there are certain lines that you don't cross. And what lines may those be? Nigga sleeping with the pastor's wife. What are you talking about? I know that look, D. What look? The look you get when you about to do something stupid. Look, man, we don't need no drama right now. I hear you, but check this out. You just make sure that deal is set up tomorrow and that product is right, all right? Bro, where are you going? For a praying dude, you worry a whole lot, brother. So, what can I help you with, beautiful? A whiskey meat, please. Oh, whiskey me. Mm -hmm. Woman after my heart. <laughs> Coming right up. So, Miss Whiskey Neat, mm -hmm. what brings a beautiful young lady like yourself in here? Because I don't think I've never seen you in here before. I'm sure I would have remembered. What makes you say that? I'm pretty sure you know why I say that. As a matter of fact, my name is David. Well, David, I'm Stacy. Hello, nice Stacy. So let me ask you, Stacy. Mm -hmm. A rough day today? I guess you could say that. <laughs> mm, pretty rough, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's just say this. Bartenders, we're known to be uh, what you may call a licensed therapist. And one thing about this one, I won't charge you by the hour. Yeah, but you'll try some per drink, though. No, no, <laughs> mm -hmm. no. I'm Let, good for it. Let's, I'm sure you are. I'm sure, <laughs> sure you are. Let's just say I know the um, the owner. And one thing about him, he loves taking care of beautiful women that's in distress, like yourself. I see. Well, in that case, go ahead and put me another one. You know what? As <laughs> soon as you start babysitting that one, Took it straight to the head. Huh? I think I may join. Mm, I like the sound of that. <laughs> so what are we toasting to? Let's say from a rough day mm -hmm. to a beautiful night. Rough day to a beautiful night. Ooh. 
<laughs> so, I see that ring on your finger. Yes. You're married, huh? Baby, how about you pour me another drink? Nice frame, yeah. dangerous, real dangerous. Don't play, don't play with me. Don't play out in that drop, but we swim. I'm about to get into the really out of the gym. This nigga be strong, yeah. Strong. You think you fancy, but you still a roach. Hope. I ain't playing around, don't got no jokes. I don't know you, ain't gonna know me, bro. So what the fuck we really gonna talk for? You sure you're a real whiskey neat fan? I am. It's just been a while. <laughs> it's been a while, huh? Mm -hmm. So guess what? what? That lets me know mm -hmm. that I need to walk you out. Because whiskey <laughs> neat will creep up on you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, come on, walk me out, baby. Walk me to my car. <laughs> I said I'm about to call you an Uber. I'm about to call you an Uber. No, stay right there. Walk me out no, you stay car. right there. Stay right stay there. there. Okay. No. 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 Don't take that gun. No. No. Come on. 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 I got it. Get your phone. Get your phone. Get your phone. Come on. I got you. Come on. I got you. 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 I got it. This is my car. Baby. Okay. I see your car. But oh. well, right now. You see my car? Yeah. My Porsche. Yep. Your car yeah. sees how you look. So look. Uh, look. Give me this. Give me this. I got you. I got you. Look. Is it gonna oh, shit. No, it's not going to get you. Matter of fact, look. Give me your phone. Let me see this phone. Check this out. Look. This is what we're going to do. Hold on. You take my phone. This, this, no. Look. Look. Wait, wait. No. Listen. 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 Look. Hold on, I need my key. Look, Give no. my key. Look, look, here go your key. I just put my number in your phone. Look, come here. Come here. Come here. Got David. you an Uber. Deep look. for David. Come here. Yep, deep for David. <laughs> okay. Get in. Get in. Okay. Get in. Come listen, on. Listen, listen. David. Uh, no, I, sit I back. I gotta go home and my husband, I got he's you, not gonna be there. I got you. Sit back. My husband's not gonna be I got you. I got my you. My husband doesn't love hey. me. Get her home to her husband's safe, okay? Okay. All right? My look, husband look, doesn't listen, love me. Shh, listen. I put my number in your phone. Text me as soon as you get home, okay? Come back and get your car tomorrow. It'll be safe and secure, all right? All right? It's not going to get told, all right? Thank all right. you, D is for David. Exactly. <laughs> Sit back, baby. Roll my window. <sighs> <sighs> I know, I am a complete mess right now. Drinking before a Sunday morning? But don't you dare judge me. You see, I might have been drinking with a stranger, but it's the women at the church who are becoming very thirsty. And Daryl, he was becoming like a, a local celebrity now. Every week, people were joining in droves. And come to think of it, it's the single women who came the most. And while the church was growing like wildfire, my marriage was going down in flames.
Hey David, um, I just came to get my car. I'm outside, but I gotta go. I just want to thank you, okay? Oh, 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 Wait, why are you leaving? Hold up, I'm just, I'm right here. <laughs> thank you. I'm in my office. All right, thank you, David. Um, I'll talk to you soon, okay? No, 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 I'm coming. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Hmm. Well, good. So I was thinking we haven't had a vacation in a while. So how about I join you in San Diego? We can stay for a few days, drive up the coast, see the beautiful sights. Don't you have the women's group this Saturday? <laughs> yeah, but one of the other ladies can take over. And I'm sure Andrea can book me a flight. Look, we both have obligations, right? Yes, we do, but... So, I'll have Andrea book some time for us soon, okay? Okay, well, can we at least have dinner before you leave, babe? We need to talk. We'll talk when I get back. Okay, well, have a safe flight. <sighs> hey, baby girl. Okay. What do you say about us having a girls' day today? We can get our nails done, get some sushi. Monica, do you not hear me talking to you? Wait, the last time we had a girl's day, he took me to the doctor and put me on a pill. Is that not good enough for you? Look, Monica, I just want to spend time with my oldest daughter, okay? Okay? And I don't know what this attitude is, but I put you on a pill as a precaution because I don't want you to make the same mistakes I did. Oh, so now I'm a mistake. I didn't mean it like that. You never even asked me if I was having sex. Not one time did you ask me if I was having sex. Well, are you? Am I? I don't know. Are you serious? Really, Mom? I don't know. Really? I would never do something like that to mess up my life. I'm not that stupid. You know I don't want you to struggle. That's it. You can save your excuses. I'm going to Jennifer's. Not until you change that outfit, you're not. Monica. Mom, what's going on with them? Lord, I need you. Lord, please, please help me. I've got to get to the bottom of this. I gotta fix what's broken. I expect to see you here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And no, I don't need help with anything. Just come to get a look at my husband's office. Didn't ask. It'll only be a minute. Okay. Andrea? Yeah? May I speak to you for a moment, please? Actually, I was on my way out to lunch, but I guess I have a second. Can you tell me why this door is locked? He changed the locks. And why would he do that? I don't know. I just do what he tells me. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> Andre, I need you to unlock this door. Now. 
Look, Andrea. Yeah. Listen, I like to think of us as friends, right? We've been here <laughs> a few months. But um, I'm your boss, and your boss is telling you to open up the store. Now. It's amazing how the contents of a box can either bring you immense joy or cause you heart-wrenching pain. There it was. The proof that I wasn't even looking for. Hey girl, hey. Is he cheating on me, Natalie? Wait, wait. wait. Is what? he cheating on me? Yeah, Stacy. Yes. How do you know? Girl, how don't you know? I mean, I really thought that you just didn't care. Why wouldn't you tell me? Y'all got me out here looking like a damn fool. Why wouldn't you tell me, Natalie? There was nothing for me to tell, Stacy. Everybody at the church already knows. He's been sleeping around with Andrea. Tamika, Michelle, and Paula. I can't do this right now. Stacy, I can't do this right now. I call Stacey. you. I call you. Dear God. God. I don't deserve this. You're the only one that can make it right. Show me. Show me what you need me to do. Because I can't do this right now. I've been a faithful, caring, nurturing wife. And you got to learn to do this to me. Hey, baby. I do not get paid enough for this drama. Why? What's wrong? Your wife came here being sassy and forced me to open the door for her. Well, what does she want? I have no idea, but I can hear with some shuffling going on. Obviously, she found something, but I got everything I could. Did you hide the condoms? Of course. Flush those down the toilet. And what about our photo album? I would never leave that here. Took those home days ago. So now what? Everything looks okay. Now what? This can't keep happening. 
Um, nothing. I think we're fine. Everything looks fine. Everything it's okay. For now. We go. What if this happens again? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it, okay? You weren't here to take care of it the first time. I have it under control, all right? Don't worry about it. I'll call you later. And I'll see you after she goes to sleep, okay? Well, after she goes to sleep. Why not now? See you later. Mm. Okay. I'm going to get you ready for your next meet. All right. Hello. Oh, praise God. Yes, I'm blessed and highly favored. And how about you? You like when I talk that preacher talk, huh? We're we'll waiting till this weekend. I told Andrea to book Red Eye to San Diego so I could spend the evening with you. Really, God? Yeah. This man got hoes in different areas. Well, listen, listen, I've got to go, all right? But hey, baby. Wow. Wear that red dress that I like, okay? All right. See you soon. Bye. I'm X is your O's. I'm not going to let you beat me. Oh, we'll see about that. Three in a row. <laughs> okay. This is not fair. Let's see. It's 11 19. So I think we should call it a night and we should get go to bed before um mom gets home. Because I'm not getting in trouble for you being up late. So good night and I'll see you in the morning. Hey girl. Hey girl, what's going on? Nothing, just got done playing games with Jasmine. Well girl, listen, I was struggling on Instagram and I see all these girls with all these likes, all these followers making all this money. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we can do the same thing. You know what? The crazy part about it is, I was just thinking about that the other day. And I know if they can do it, we can definitely do it. The money sounds good because who needs a college degree? Child, these college degrees are ripped off, okay? I'm seriously thinking about starting an OnlyFans. Only who? Uh, OnlyFans, you heard me. We can make so much money. Girl, all it takes is for me to go viral one time and I'm going off to boarding school. What, you gonna come with me? Ah, okay. Okay, since so she off the board is I have a new idea to make some real money with no cameras, no videos, no nothing. Okay, honey, talk to me about this money because plan A is just not going to cut it. Do you trust me? Yeah, I trust you. Do you trust me? Do I trust you? Do you trust me? Me. Do I trust you? Uh, what? Are you ready for it? This is this is real money right here. Real money. Real money? How? You know how. Mm. I think I hear my mama coming. I'm gonna call you back. We're gonna talk about this later. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 I'm gonna call you back.
Baby girl, what are you still doing it? I was waiting on you to make prayer. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do it. Down here and join me. Do I have to? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Are you ready? Ready. Give us this Let's day say. our daily bread as we Give fail those trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but keep praying while you stop. <laughs> Sorry. Mommy just lost her train of thought. Where were we? We're at the deliverance part. We're almost done. Keep praying, Mommy. You think you could finish for me? Sure. It's gonna be okay. And deliver us from evil. And guys, the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever. Oh, and one more thing. Please help my mommy. Her heart is sad. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Why do you think my heart is sad, baby girl? I can tell. You're very, very wise. And I love you. I love you too. Now I'm getting in the bed. Mm -hmm. You have school tomorrow, Jazz. I love you. I love you too. Excellent. I'll take that. I'm going to tuck you in. My princess. All good? Mm -hmm. Love you, Jess. Love you too. So you're giving me the silent treatment. Before I went to San Diego, you couldn't wait to talk to me. Excuse me? Are you okay? I really need for you to be on your A-game tonight. Babe, I'm just a little tired. This new client has got me all over the place. I see. Well, I'm sure you're going to give them exactly what they're looking for. You always do. So we need to reach at least six figures to reach our goal tonight. Daryl, I'm well aware of how much we need to raise. Of course you are, dear. Of course you are. Then afterwards, maybe we can finally have that talk. Well, let's just see how tonight goes. I'll probably be in meetings all day tomorrow. Babe, it's important that we spend time together. 
What do you think we're doing? You know, never mind. Let's just focus on getting through the night. That's what I'm talking about. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. You look lovely, by the way. Thank you, baby. So do you. Thank you. I got a love in the sky Where I'm watching the easy fly by And everything that I try Manifest a successful life I can speak it I speak elevation I speak elevation I speak elevation I can speak Fundraiser had my creative juices flowing like water last night, baby. Mm. Mm. You were absolutely wonderful. What would I do without you? I was up all <laughs> night going over ideas. I was able to set up meetings with our partners okay. and investors in about an hour. Babe, I thought we were going to lunch to celebrate. You just left last night. Listen, I know, Stacy, but I can't. We have to strike this iron while it's hot. And right now, it is scorching. I got you, babe. We'll do something later, okay? I love you. I love you, too. I can go with you. You outdid yourself last night, baby. Are you coming home for dinner? really got is this a sign <sighs> lord i cannot make this shit up Yeah. Set it up. Good morning. Because, hey, let me give you a call back. <laughs> Smells good in here. <laughs> <laughs> I made me some coffee. Mm -hmm. I made you some, but I don't know how you take it. Sugar and a lot of cream. Sugar and a lot of cream. Yes. Coming right up. Mm. Mm. Stacy. Mm -hmm. 
I was thinking, um, you weren't too busy today. Maybe we, um, we can have lunch. David, look, you're amazing. And last night was... Stacy, last night was amazing. Actually, last night was this thing. Stacy, look, if we moving too fast, we can always slow it down. David, I'm a married woman. What do you want me to do? I, I know this, but according to you, you're very unhappy. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you buy me a few drinks, sleep with me one time, and now you, what, think you know me? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is, I know we have a connection. But what I want you to understand, Stacey, is I just don't be letting random women in my space like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I really don't. Stacy. look, I don't know what guy you take me as to being, but I'm not that kind of guy who just run around here sleeping with women because he can. Mm -hmm. I guess you may be right. And... I'd be lying too if I said I didn't feel a connection as well. But I can't ignore the fact that I'm married with kids. Stacy. Stacy, but what I do know, a woman like yourself, you definitely deserve to be happy. And if I'm that man, just let me. David, I can't do this right now. I'm already running late, so. Stacy, can I call you? How about I call you when I'm ready? <laughs> That's cool. But just remember, don't keep a guy like me waiting too long. Because I will find you. Stacy Spencer. Mm hmm. I know you will. I'll call you later. Have a good day. How much is this, bro? It's all, girl. Tell you, man, it's all. Man, you move around with this kind of much money on you, man, in the daytime, man, you start to be nervous, man. Yeah. What I tell you, you ain't had nothing to worry about. Yeah. That was cool. I think you're wrong about not having anything to worry about. <sighs> Chris, man, you worry too much, man. Maybe you don't worry enough. What is you talking about now? This. Who this white mother, man? He's a detective. He's waiting on the right chance to bust your ass. Look, man, I got a call. The club been under surveillance. And apparently this mother was watching you the other night while you was getting busy with Miss First Lady. Okay, so what? Ain't that what we pay old boy for? Man, look like our investment's starting to pay off, correct? Yeah, he came through this time. But you need to be smarter. I mean, shit, nigga, you're usually pretty good at spotting unmarked cars. Come on, man. Really? No, oh, nigga, you come on. I need you on top of your game. We don't have any room for errors. You know that. You right. You right. You know what I've been thinking? I think we need this man stop moving uh, product through the club, man, for a while, man. That's it? Yeah. That's a smart idea? Yes, that's my smart idea. <laughs> yes, I'm figuring this shit out as I go. You do understand that, right? Just give me a couple days. I'm going to figure this shit out, man. Yeah, all right. I'll get with you later. Yeah.
So I'm about this young nigga, man. Special delivery. Baby girl. Thank you. And so what do I owe this special visit? Do I need a reason to visit my mother at work? I guess not. I just wish you would have called first because I'm about to head out to go see a client. A client? Mm -hmm. Well, why won't you just tell them it's bring your daughter to work day? And where is this uh, interest in my work coming from? Well, I just think since you spend a lot of your time here, mm -hmm. why not know how you grow such a successful business? As good as that sounds, and as much as I would like to show you what I do, today is just not a good day, baby girl. I've got to head out, so come on. So when? Maybe next week. Next week? You know what? You're such a deadbeat mom. You constantly put your career above me. And it's really getting very tiring. Mama, you know what? You know I love you, right? I can't tell. Look, can we can we just not do this today? I can give you a ride home. I'll just get an Uber. Okay, well, call me when you get home. I love you. Natalie, I really need you to pick up your phone. I'm at my mom's office and I told her I'll get an Uber, but I'm gonna go home and change. She blew me off for a client yet again and I've been trying to talk to her. I went off on her, I'll call her a deadbeat and for hours I could go on, but I really need to talk to somebody. Natalie, answer your phone or I'm coming to your job. What are you doing? Get your feet down. What are you doing here, girl? Well, you got every bit of 20 minutes. I got to get ready for this fashion week photo shoot. Okay. So I'm going to go see my mom today, right? Okay. And um, I went to her office and I'm telling you, things get real weird in the house. Like, real weird. And I try to talk to her about it because I feel like, you know, it's the right thing to do. Go to my mom about it, right? Like, right. She blew me off for a client. Okay, so right. I can't see you. All right, calm down. And it's your nice opinion. I like it. I think, you know, I just picked a few things. Yeah, you're not. But hold on. I'm so late. So, baby girl, you know your mom loves you very, very, very much. Mm -hmm. And she do anything in the world for you. Mm -hmm. She works very hard to be a role model for you and your sister. So, okay. just like when we was in college, when she used to strip. She used to strip? Yeah, I remember you too. I remember that. But anyway, my point is this. Look at the life she's built for you. So. So, 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 so. Stacey Spencer used to be a stripper. And that stays here. Okay? So, I'm a part of this family. Jasmine's a part of this family. So, you're telling me that we don't have a right, for God's sakes, to have a say so? Well, I realize you are more mature than I was. Hell, I was chasing boys at your age. I wasn't thinking about my parents' happiness. That's not surprising. But my point is this I didn't ask you your opinion, and however, marriages can be complicated. Mm -hmm. But whatever's going on with Darling and your mom, that's not for you and Jasmine to worry about. But I've already dropped off to her. I get to say so. If they're getting a divorce, you know, she should at least let us know. Okay, let's do this. How about we talk to your mom together? Yeah, I think we should give her these vibes, yeah. you know? Those but maybe bad. she'll blow me off again. But how about this? Nothing needs to fail you but a try. So can we agree that we'll talk with her together? Yeah, I mean, we can, but I still right. think I should take her to one of Listen, this. I have to get back to my meeting. And you just stay put. Don't touch anything. I still like your spot. No. And I went down the hallway. No, no, no. And I said they had a You've been all over my office already? Yeah, definitely. 20 minutes, don't go anywhere. Call your mom. Sorry, it took me so long. Your mom should be here shortly. Monica, listen. When she gets here, 
We're going to have a conversation, okay? Okay. Okay. Yes, can you send her up to the conference room, please? All right, thanks. I'm serious. Conversation. Maybe I should give her the flowers. Here you go with the flowers. Yeah, we're not giving her the flowers. All right, I'm just starting on the label school. What's up, girl? Hey, hey. What you mean, blowing your phone or not? What's going on? Because your daughter needs to talk to you. So y'all really going to ambush me like this? Really, Natalie? <laughs> you got the nerve to bring my daughter up in here. Are you crazy? You want some Go ahead. Lady Bella, that's not what we're here to talk. Talk to your mother. Well, since you blew me off, I was at the office today. And I was like, but my real question is, are you dirty on the voice? Oh. So is that obvious, huh? Well, I guess it's time we let the cat out the bag then, since y'all think y'all know my secrets. Listen, do me a favor. Why don't you give me and your mom some time to talk? Take this down to my office. She's been all over my building. And wait for me there. Thank you. Pull your shirt up, honey. Stay seen. I really don't appreciate you ambushing me like this. Are you serious? Yes. Ambushing you? Yes. Your daughter's been trying to talk to you for days. And she came to me to get some support. And besides, what is really going on with you? Now I got to deal with my best friend. One down, one to go. Hmm. Ever since you found out that Daryl was cheating, I haven't even, we have not even talked about it. So are you working on your marriage or you're not? Might as well tell her all about David. So what's up, man? What you calling me for? You know I was at my baby mama house. We're not switching nothing up. Did you not hear what I told you earlier? They got you under surveillance. Nigga, didn't I tell you you need to be smarter? You're not being smarter. Chris. Do you really think I give a f who got me under surveillance? You should. Why should I? I've been throwing bricks to the penitentiary for years. You think I give a f watch me get this fucking money? Look, man, I, I hear you. I'm in this business to make money. What you in it for? Look, man, I hear you. But nigga, you not thinking about the team. All I hear is you. The team? The team? What team? Oh, shit. What team? You saying think about the team, but you fail to realize you looking at the team. I'm Michael Jordan of this shit right here. If you Jordan and this shit go down, nigga, you go down. If we go down, we go down. It ain't no breakup. If we go down, we go down. When you spend this money, you take the beat for this money. That's how the game go. So at the end of the day, I'm playing this shit to fucking win, my nigga. What you playing for? Just remember, Chris, I'm the Nord that's up. I already got two solid niggas. If you ain't solid, I don't need you. We not open yet. Here we go. What's up, Chris? Morning, gentlemen. 
Rather slow crowd this morning. Didn't you just hear my man? We not open yet. It's a damn good thing I came this morning instead of this evening. I could have come in here and embarrassed you in front of your whole big old clientele tonight. Detective Claus. Narcotics. I don't think I caught y'all, gentlemen's name. And I don't remember us throwing it at you. But I'm sure you know who we are. So what can I help you with, Detective? Detective Claus. <laughs> Wait, you mean like Santa? Yeah, it can be Christmas. Y'all can take it like Santa Claus. Or like Panther Claus. It's your choice. Y'all funny. Y'all funny as hell. I can tell y'all ought to take this little thing on the road. So what can I help you with, Detective? Y'all listen. Y'all two facing 20 years. If my investigation turns out to be true. I'm not on y'all, but you in my umbrella. I'm going after your supplier. Y'all keep this happy little lie. Keep going on about your business. If you turn, I'll let you keep your little life. I'll let you keep, keep your little club. Keep your, keep your stacks. i tell you what, Detective. I'm going to give you an even more funnier headline. Um, two black successful business owners sues Atlanta Narcotics Division for harassment. We win the case very big. You lose your job. And we put our money right back into our business. I like that, D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's so hilarious. Like I said, that's why he's the brains and I'm the muscle. You gonna roll up on me, son? Give me any excuse to tote your ass in. Tote, step back. Step off. Detective. Let me say, if you don't have a search warrant, or if one of us is not under arrest, I think this conversation is done for the day. When I get back, I'll have a search warrant. I'm going to have two pretty arrest warrants for y'all's asses. Time's running out, gentlemen. It's y'all's call. Well, you know where to find us. And like I said earlier, we're closed. So you can see your way out. Yeah, you don't want me back. You got time. Man. Man. This getting bold, man. Man, just chill. That man fishing, man. Man, fishing my ass. You know what happens when people go fishing? Nigga, they catch something. Chris. Man, I got this under control, man. I'm working on something. Just be patient. That's the problem. You always working. Exactly. And as long as we stay two steps ahead of him, we good. Just chill. But what you need to be worrying about is calling up your peoples and find out why we didn't get some kind of courtesy call that this motherfucker was going to do a pop-up and shop the day with us and catching us off guard. You're right. I think I'm going to go holler at him. Pay him a visit. This shit getting unacceptable. Hey, Chris. Don't do nothing stupid, man. Stacy? Stacy, come Please on. Please leave your message for no. Come on, Stacy, man. Man, of all times I need somebody to talk to, I can't talk to you. Stacy, pick up. Stacy, pick up. Pick up. I've been calling you four or five times. Pick up. Please, please. Oh, man. Come on, Stacy. It's an emergency, man. I need somebody to talk to. Please leave your message for... 
How the hell are you gonna be somebody's best friend? You can't even be rich when they need you. Yo. Yo, dog, what up? Man, sitting here, man, trying to get this month paperwork right so I can pay uh pay these damn employees, man. Yeah, no doubt. Yo, man, check this shit out. What's up? Your boy Chris, your boy, your boy Chris got jammed. You know what? What's up, player? Remember me? How could I forget? That's right, Detective Santa Claus. That's what your muscle called me this morning. Picked his ass up following me after our little meeting. That little detective dude said something about that, and I've been calling Chris all day, and he ain't been answering his phone. And uh, they seem to can't find him in the system, man, so it's, it's really true, huh? Yeah, man, that's stupid, that motherfucker, man. I told you not to fuck with that dude. Nah, you was right. You was right. I tried to get young in the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, um... It's just something that had me real, real shaky about Shorty, man, but it's all go. Oh, let me take this other call. I'm going to call you right back because I'm expecting somebody to come. All right. All right. Hello? What's up? You downstairs right now? Did you? Okay. Are you wearing what I asked you to wear? Good. I need to see somebody. All right. mistake by sleeping with David last night. I'm a married woman. But God, please, please give me the strength to weather this storm. Don't I deserve to, to feel desired? Don't I deserve to be loved, to feel wanted? God, just... Just give me the strength and provide me some clarity on this one. Because I need you. I need you. Amen. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. On behalf of the First Lady, my best friend, Sister Stacy Spencer, my name is Natalie. Hi, and I'm, hi. I'm here to host the Women's Circle. Ladies, tonight we're going to talk about confidence and walking in your purpose. Walking in your purpose so you can get your own husband, I mean, mm. a husband and a purpose partner. Mm. You see, a lot of times we get comfortable, complacent, and content with entertaining other people's men. I mean, entertaining men that don't have any meaning in our lives, right? Right. So instead of doing those things, if we understand our worth, 
which is most important. Therefore, we can have our own man. You all want your own man, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Definitely. You have a man? Um. <laughs> Okay. Say flat, hey, I need you to man what? shut shop the f down now. Man, no way, man. This shit pumping like a motherfucker right now, man. Why? Wow, what's wrong? Man, listen what I'm trying to tell you, man. We got eyes on us, man, like 3D, man. Shut that shit down, man. It's hotter than the 4th of July. I ain't say, say no more, nigga. I bet. I'll hit you later on. Oh, come here. Oh, shit. Damn. You make kind of quiet lately. Girl, you wear me out. <laughs> you like me coming over here every day? No. Nah. I wish you would stay here every day and never leave. <laughs> well, it seems like you got a lot on your mind lately. Yeah, I mean, um, there's something I want to tell you. Okay, well, there's something I want to tell you, too. Ladies first. Okay. Well, I know we've only been together a couple of months. Mm -hmm. But, David, I never felt like this. For real, not even with Daryl. I love you. I love you too, baby. Which brings me to what I have to tell you. Baby, tell me. You can tell me anything, man. Okay. You listening? I'm listening. I'm pregnant. Stacy, are you sure? You sure you're pregnant? Yes, I mean, I took a test and I did make a doctor's appointment just to be 100% sure of it. I think so. <clears throat> what? Baby, this is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Really? You not mad? Mad? Yeah. Mad for what? The woman I'm in love with is having my baby. My baby is having my baby? <laughs> Are you tripping? Okay. Well, I'm glad you're excited. But if we're going to do this, you have to be open and honest. <clears throat> so I know you got a lot on your mind. Talk yeah. to me. Can you trust me? Of course. I mean, you really, really trust yes, me. Yes, David, I trust you. Babe, just talk to me. Baby, if I tell you this, you got to be all in. David, you starting to scare me. No, Stacey, there's nothing in this world I will ever do to put you in any kind of harm or danger. So I never want to scare you. I'm listening. Just, just trust me on this, baby. I got something I want to show you. <laughs> David, what is this? Baby, you all in, right? I trust you. I'm all in. What? Yeah. <sighs> Why? Why do you have a briefcase of money? David, where is this? Is this from the bar? No. The bar don't make this kind of money. Okay, so... Remember when I told you I had a lot of people depending on me. Yes. Okay. I wasn't talking about just my family. I'm talking about the streets. Stacy, I'm a drug dealer. I 
don't just don't change things between us. Hey. You have to trust me on this. I wouldn't do nothing in this world to jeopardize you or my baby that you're carrying. I told you I was all in. I've I been know. all in since the beginning. But the baby changes things. I need you to trust me. I trust you. With everything I say or I may ask you to do. All right? Okay. Me and you against the world. Stacy, thanks for trusting me, baby. I won't let you down. Wow, baby. Hey, babe. What's up? Hey. Right. You sure you're ready for this? Yes, David. I told you I was ready. Look, the church never checks the books. We always make large purchases, so it's cool. Okay. Well, there's 300K in this bag, all right? I need you to drop it off on the west side. He's going to be already out there waiting on you when you pull up. No conversations, no none of that. Drop it off, pull off. All right? And I'll make sure to use the other phone, too. Good. Baby, be careful, all right? I love you. Love you, too. How are you? I'm good. If you could, please just have a seat for me and someone will be with you shortly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, how you doing? Hi. If you could just sign in for me, put your first full first and last name and your date of birth, if you can verbally tell me as well so I can put you into the system. The pen is okay. Thank you. And I'm um, Stacy Spencer. Okay. Uh, 1231. 87. All righty. It looks like you have a credit, but something is going on with your account. But I tell you what, go ahead and sign in. I need you to complete this patient information. Have a seat for me, and okay. I will be with you shortly. All righty. And um, did anybody come for me? No, ma'am. No. Is, is okay. it someone in particular that... No, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is it somebody I'm supposed to be looking for in particular? Um, it's, it's okay. Okay, I'm sorry. And actually, you are you just popped up, so you are next in line. Okay. So if you give me just a second, I'm going to take you up to the laboratory. So just have a seat, and I'll be with you in just a second. All right, thank you. Thank you. Baby, where are you? You said she was gonna be here. David, I'm scared. Just, look, the doctor's gonna be here in a minute. Just, I'll call you when I leave, okay? I love you. I love you.
Come in. I'll be back in just a few minutes and we can talk about some options, okay? Hello? David, where were you today? You said that you loved me and you was ready to start a family, but you couldn't even show up. This is not like you. I needed you. Hello, David? Stacy, Stacy, this is Daryl. I don't know who David is, but you need to come home because we need to talk. I'm not saying I don't love the chick. I mean, I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying I don't love the chick. But okay, okay, I didn't go. What I'm saying is, I mean, I just don't want another situation like Nicole. You know what that was. Yeah, I mean, I'm already not seeing my kids as is now. And plus, I'm definitely not trying to go through another divorce. And then, I mean, who is it say? She might hold a kid just like with, with me. Hey. So you were married with kids? Hey, um, let me call you back. So that's what we doing now? We sneaking up on each other? David, what was I supposed to do? You're not answering my calls, replying to my text messages. I thought something was wrong. Damn, Stacy, you didn't even give me a chance to call you back. Shit, man. I need my space, man. For real. We're having a baby. And you talking about you need some space? You just like her. Really? A liar. You know what? I can't believe that I trusted you. I can't believe that I let you get me pregnant. Really? Now I'm out here looking like a damn fool, laundering your drug money. Whoa. Whoa, well, hold up. Let's back up. Let's get this right. I made you get pregnant? Yes. Hold up. I made you give me your number. Better yet, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I made you slide your ass in my bed. Let's get even deeper than that. Really, Dave? I made you tick the mother condom off me, huh? Is that it? <laughs> nah, nigga, because that was your shit. That was your doing, nigga. <laughs> oh, I see why. Chris used to try to get me to church and I wouldn't go. Because, see, one thing I'm realizing about you, little hoe, some ass. Church women, Excuse me? yeah, every Sunday, you got your little hands in the air, praising God. <laughs> but at night, you got your motherfucking legs open, 
for another nigga who ain't even your mother husband, nigga. Really, David? Really? That's what you think of me? Yeah. Well, if you would have came to the appointment, then you, then you would have known. Know what? You would have known that I lost the baby, David. What? I lost the baby. But you don't care nothing about that. No. You don't care nothing about that. Stacy, no, no. Don't no. touch me. No. I'm sorry. Don't get off of me. No, don't, baby, touch me. don't touch no, me. Don't touch me. David, get off of me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Don't touch me. Get no. off of me, David. Stacey. Get, no. get no. off of me. I'm sorry. Come here. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Get off of me. Sorry. Get off of me. You know. I didn't know. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't know. I should have known better. No. You can't even take care of your own kids. How was you going to take care of this one? I would have been a damn fool to have a baby with a drug dealer. What? Really? That's what you think me? That's all you see me as? And drug dealer? Stacy, no, look. David. Stacy. I hate you. Baby, no, baby, no. You don't. You. you don't. You don't. You don't. Stay. Stay away from me. You don't mean that, baby. You don't. You don't mean that. Stacy. Stacy. I never even knew I loved Stacy this much. I mean, can counseling even help us at this point? She's killing another man's child. Lord, give me strength. Happy birthday, Monica. Thank you. Yeah. How you feel? Um, feel like I'm 21 again. Again? <laughs> Let's Girl. try reaching that first, okay? Okay. <laughs> Maybe, you know. Mm -mm. <laughs> Maybe if everyone was just as excited as me and maybe not in their phone, we can enjoy my birthday. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Happy birthday. Smash these lashes off. To grow Match your phone and put it <laughs> somewhere you can't find it. <laughs> Think that's funny? It is a good for you. I want a Birkin, a Rolex, two Cuban chains, and a trip to Dubai. Talk to your father. Yeah, you travel a lot, so, you know, should have no reason to say no. Yeah, uh-huh. I told you, we only see ladies on Mondays. I don't, I don't care what she look like or how sexy she is. We don't see people until Monday. Yo, dude, let me get $100 on the Bentley outside, all right? I'm going to get a Kit Kat. Oh, I, whoa. Whoa, <laughs> look at this here. Uh, Gary, uh, uh. Gary, how you, you been? Come here. Good. What do you mean, come here? How you been? Oh my God. <laughs> mm, 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 you looking mm. good. Oh, thank you, thank you. So you still in the club business, huh? I must say the Lord has blessed me with several. <laughs> okay. How have you been? I've been good. You Got two beautiful. daughters, thank two you. Two daughters? Yes, and a husband. Wow, oh, I see you, <laughs> I see you. Yeah. Mm, I was thinking about you the other day. Really? At one of my establishments, I got a young lady. She goes by Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown. Mm -hmm. Does she look like me? Yes, she does. I don't know about that one. What? You sure you <laughs> got a twin? A younger twin? No. Foxy? 
Oh, no, no, this no, is no. not your daughter, is it? Yes, this is my daughter. Whoa, whoa, I had Who's no idea. Who's underage. She showed me an ID that said she was 18. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. You know I don't no. play. Gary? I can explain. No, I can. You better sh shut your mouth. Stay inside. I had no it idea. It wasn't like that. Monica, let's go. No, because. Let's go. Stay, stay. I had no idea. Get in the. Shut up and stop no, talking right. to me. I'm not playing with you. Baby, what's going on? Oh my God, mommy, are you okay? Stacy, what happened? Are you okay? Stacy, Stacy, Stacy. I fainted. <laughs> One thing I never wanted to be. Lord, take this away from me. Take this lust from me. My family doesn't deserve this, Lord. My church members don't deserve this, Lord. I'm just not who they think I am. And I'm tired of lying. I'm tired of being a fake. <laughs> you said, Lord, that as long as we repent for our sins, you will forgive us. I'm asking, Lord, for your forgiveness now. Please forgive me, Lord, and give me back my family. Allow me to be the man that I'm supposed to be. You sleepy yet? You hungry? I bought some fruit, or I can make you something else if you want. Just a bottle of water? Girl, look, I owe you an explanation for everything. Uh, listen, babe. If anybody owes anyone an explanation, it's me. I haven't been the best husband or friend for that matter. And I was wrong. I was wrong for cheating on you with Andrea and all those other women. It's wrong, baby. Girl. No, no, just just hear me out, Stacy. okay? I've been praying, and I've been fasting, and I truly believe that God wants us to work this out. And I know I can be a better husband, a better father to our children, a better leader to our church members. <laughs> and I've already forgiven you for your discretion as well. I'm owning my part in this. I just want you to know that I love you. That I love the life that we've built together. Now listen, baby. You don't have to say anything right now. Just take your time and think it over. When you're feeling up to it, we can talk about it, okay? And I feel like I'm just rambling, man. You hungry? Bowl of fruit. Bowl of fruit. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just in pain. I'm so I got you, baby. The bowl of fruit coming up. Hi, Miss Spencer. This is Detective Dick Long. I'm calling on behalf of Detective Claus. This is an urgent matter. Please get back in touch with us immediately. Phone number. Come in.
I'm just so sorry about last night. I didn't expect things to go that far. Jennifer just told me that she was just gonna get some fake IDs and I didn't think anything of it at the time. I was just mad at you. It's okay, baby. Look. I just wanted to protect you. And I should have came and talked to you. I know what it's like to be a teenage girl. And I know the pressures that you're facing every single day. But next time, will you believe me when I tell you something that's good for your health? Yeah. Are you sure? No, I'll try. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I could cook all of us breakfast. Here's a little something for the pain. Thank you, babe. That's the first. <laughs> Don't yeah. that water over there. Thank you. I love y'all. We love you too. Mm -hmm. This food is good, baby girl. Mm. Yes, it was delicious. I'm glad you both are enjoying it. <laughs> I wonder who that can be. Um, it may be Natalie. I did invite her over. I'll check. I'll be right back. All right, babe. Well, I'm glad we were able to have our talk. Me too. I think it was needed. Can I help you? Yes, I'm Detective Claus. I'm here to see Miss Spencer, please. Come on in. Monica, would you excuse us for a second? I need to talk to you now. Great. Thank you, baby girl. Stacy, can you explain to me why there is a detective clause in my office? Babe, I don't know. All right, well, he's in my office and I'm going to get him. Okay. Come right in, Detective Claus. Thank you, sir. Miss Spencer, I'm not. Seat. Thank you, Miss Spencer. I'm Detective Claus, and I, I have to speak to you this morning. I apologize for bothering you so okay. early, but I'm hoping you have a few moments for me. Okay. And what is this about? This is in regards to David. What about David? Sir, David's not who you think he is. Look, Detective Claus. My wife is no longer associated with David, mm -hmm. and quite frankly, we have just experienced a loss, so can you please wrap this up? Exactly. I'm sorry for your loss. I, I truly am. However, my investigation is urgent, and it's important that I speak solely with your wife at the moment, sir. Do you mind possibly grabbing me a cup of coffee or a water, please? Babe, a cup of coffee. babe, just be kind and get Detective Claus a cup. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Look, your husband's going to be back in just a moment, so I'm going to cut to the chase. My investigation has led me to David and his supplier. Okay. I think you know more about his operation than you're letting on, and you can help me help David. If we can turn him on his supplier, I can let him go. Y'all can carry on with your relationship no matter what that is. And what do you think I can do to help? I think that between you and I, we can convince David to turn on his supplier. With your help, we can convince David to turn on his supplier. I can let him go. But without your help, I think my investigation is going to show that you may be implicated as well. I want you to come down to the precinct. I want to discuss wearing a wire. A wire? A wire. I want you to help me help David. Okay, and what makes you think I can convince David? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, babe. Hey, I think Detective Claus is ready to go. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I do have another appointment. Um, I'm going to be heading on. However, Miss Spencer, I do hope to hear back from you. I'll just show myself out, sir. Thank okay. you for your time. All right. Thank you. So what's, what's that all about? I don't even know. God. I'm just glad you finally let that day die go. Don't tell me what he would have pulled you into. Me too, babe. Me too. You okay? Yeah. Let's yeah. finish our breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming in today, Mrs. Spencer. Can I grab you anything before we get started? No, thank you. And I really don't know what I'm doing here or how I can help. Well, just let me be the judge of that, all right? Okay, so what would you like me to do? I've already told you, Stacy. I want you to help me turn David. Hmm. What do you need me to do? Look. I'm going to drop this Mrs. Spencer thing, Stacy. I, I know your history. I'm sitting here looking at it. You're, you got this nice little Christian life working for you, but if you want to keep that life, mm -hmm. you're going to wear a wire. Detective, I already told you when you came to my house that I'm not wearing a wire. And I'm telling you, this is not a request. This is, I'm telling you, your whole life's going to fall apart. It's your call. You have few choices here, dear. Okay. And what if I don't wear the wire? Well, you can always go back to this earlier career, stripping. <sighs> Just give me a minute to think about it. Sure. I'll give you five minutes and I'm going to come back in with my equipment guy. We're going to get you wired. We're going to set up a meeting with David. I'll do whatever. Anything okay. I need to sign? No, you just need to get wired. I'll be right back. There you are. Come on, Stacy. You you got this shit, baby. Man, I wish I could run into your arms right now. Wish it wasn't so complicated. And if you think I would ever turn you Don't into a white Don't stop on me now. Then, baby, you are sadly mistaken. If you ever come near me and my family again. What? What? I'll make your life a living hell. I got God on my side. But who do you have? I guess I'll see you next lifetime. See you later, David. 
I love you. Stay safe! Stay safe! I'ma live it up till I need the earth. I'm going to do what I did do the worst. Family over everything. Keep why do I keep having this dream? I see a woman, but her face is never revealed. It's kind of like an enemy behind the veil. I do know this. Marriage can't heal what you refuse to reveal. What happens in the dark will always come to light. Just come home where the love is Just come home where the love is